and we ask him to send his peace and blessings upon our master Sayyiduna Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam upon his blessed family, loyal companions and all of those who followed after them with excellence up until the day of standing Ameen, Ameen, Ameen Thereafter, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala in the Quran al kareem He called upon the believing people and he said Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu O believing people O people of faith O people of Iman, Sayyiduna Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu an, a great companion of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he used to teach the Qur'an al kareem he used to say to his congregation and to his students that every time you hear this phrase in the Qur'an in which Allah says, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, O people of faith, O people of Iman, O people of conviction, O oh, people of faith in Allah and His Messenger, whenever you hear this quote, whenever you hear this addressal from Allah calling upon us and saying, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, Sayyiduna Abdullah used to say, then listen attentively, listen attentively, for Allah is calling you with the greatest of attributes that you can be called upon with. He said, when you, when you are called by the people of the world, Perhaps your children call you father, mother. Perhaps your friends call you by, by your name. Your, 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 your relatives call you by your name. Your colleagues call you by your name. But when Allah Azza wa Jal called upon you and addressed you in the Quran, He didn't mention your name, but rather He mentioned the highest quality that man can ever reach. And that's the quality of Iman. And he said, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu. So hence, when you hear this phrase, when, he, when you hear this statement, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then give an ear, listen attentively, for Allah is calling you and addressing you. And be honored by this example. Take honor and cry that Allah is calling you not by your name, but rather by the highest quality that any man can ever reach. And that's the quality of conviction in Allah. That's the quality of faith in Allah. That's the quality of Iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that there are certain people from amongst my ummah, there are certain individuals from amongst my community, their Iman is more stronger and more powerful and more mightier than the mountains of the earth. Than the mountains of the earth. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran says, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu. And when we read this in the Quran, we should listen attentively. We should look at this phrase and be honored that Allah is addressing me as an individual and calling upon me as an individual and saying, O person of Iman, listen what, to what I have got to say carefully. For if a, an addressal or a letter or a message comes to any one of us from the kings or the leaders or the presidents and the prime ministers of this world, we will open up that paper and read it carefully. And if we are addressed by our name, we will be honored. If we are addressed by a title that we have, we will be proud. But that's the affair of the people of the world. Imagine the Lord of the heavens and the earth, the King of kings, the creator and sustainer of this entire universe when he calls upon each and every one of us and he says, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, O people of Iman, how much pride and how much honor should fill our hearts and joy and happiness and felicity in our minds and hearts that Allah has called me a nobody and said, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, O person of Iman, O person of faith. So then we should listen attentively as to what Allah has got to say. For what Allah has got to say is only of benefit for us in this world and in the next. If people of the world give us advice and consult us and help us, their advice might be correct and might be incorrect. Their consultation might be correct and might be incorrect. Perhaps there's benefit in it for them as there is benefit in it for you. But when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
gives us advice, he calls upon us, he gives us consultation, the benefit is all ours. The benefit is all ours. Why? Because when we do good deeds, we, when we obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our obedience and our good deeds don't benefit Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they benefit us. For how can our deeds benefit the creator of the heavens and the earth and benefit the one who created our deeds? And when we make sin and when we are disobedient, our disobediences don't harm Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for he is exalted and transcendent high above our deeds. So when Allah calls upon me and you and the believing people with the highest attributes of Iman and he says, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu then we need to give an attentive ear then we need to give our heart and open up the Quran page after page and find where Allah says, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu O people of Iman and then listen in to what Allah has got to advise us what Allah has to give us of benefit so that we can benefit in this world and in the next world. In this particular verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, O people of Iman, O people of faith. Allah didn't need, a, need to call us with this name. Allah is not in need of praising us. You know when we praise each other, why do we praise each other? We think perhaps the one who I'm praising will benefit me one day or the other. When we tap another on the back, we think one day he'll come to my assistance and my aid. One day when it's difficult for me, he will help me out. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need to praise anybody. So he takes benefit from that person so that we begin to praise Allah and that praise will help Allah. We will come to the assistance and aid of Allah. Allah when he praises us, he praises us for our sake. He praises us for our benefit and, no, and not for any benefit that will return to him. Not for any profit that will return to him subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when Allah praises us and he says, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, O people of Iman, O people with the highest quality that can ever be granted to any man, listen attentively. And in this verse, Allah says, هَلْ أَدُلُّكُمْ عَلَىٰ تِجَارَةٍ تُنْجِيكُمْ مِنْ عَذَابٍ أَلِيمٍ Should I, should I inform you of a business, of a transaction, of a tijara that will save you from the punish, from the severe punishment? I